In this super short video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to remember debits and credits in accounting. Hey there, welcome back to Accounting Stuff. I'm James and in this video, I'm going to show you my number one accounting basics hack. This simple trick will help you to effortlessly identify and distinguish between debit and credit accounts. And here it is, dealer, D-E-A, L E R dealer. Now, if you're subscribed to my channel, then you might have heard me mention this quite often. Dealer in dealer, A in dealer, the E in dealer, dealer. Okay, so quite often, so a bit of an understatement, I actually use this all the time. Here's how it works Dealer is an acronym that stands for Dividends, Expenses, Assets, Liabilities, Equity, and Revenue. All right, so what does that mean? Well, as a general rule in accounting, debits always go on the left and credits always go on the right. So how this works is that on the left-hand side, we have dividends, expenses, and assets representing normal debit accounts. That means the debits increase these balances and credits decrease them. On the right-hand side, we have liabilities, equity, and revenue. These are normal credit accounts. That means that credits increase them and debits decrease them. D-E-A-L-E-R, dealer. This is it, my secret weapon. But before you click away, I want to share one more knowledge bomb that'll help you understand the true meaning of debits and credits in accounting. After all, what use is a sword if you don't know how to wield it? I think that's an expression. Anyway, here it is. Every financial transaction involves a flow of economic benefit from a source to a destination. Credits represent the sources that economic benefit can flow from, whereas debits represent the destinations that economic benefit can flow to. What does any of this have to do with dealer? I'll show you right now. I want you to imagine that you own a business and your business holds some cash. Where could this cash have come from? What are the possible sources? Well, broadly speaking, there are only three places. You could have borrowed it from a third party like a bank. You as the owner could have invested it into the business out of your own pocket. Or you could have earned that cash by selling a product or a service. Liabilities, equity, and revenue. These are the three possible sources of economic benefit. On the flip side, what could your business spend this cash on? Well, it could distribute it back to the owners of the business that would be you in this situation. It could be used to pay your bills like your rent or employees' salaries, or you could use it to buy new assets like a laptop to work on. In other words, dividends, expenses, and assets, the three destinations of economic benefit. If you'd like to learn how and why this works, then I recommend you check out my debits and credits video over here. And if you'd like to get in some practice using Dealer, then here are five worked examples that you can try out for yourself. Don't forget to subscribe for more accounting tips and tricks. And now I've got to pick up all of these cards.